Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So it has been a while since I have done a rank up on my account and uh, there was a good reason for it uh, when I did my last batch of rank ups after July 4th. Uh, I basically kind of like left myself with only a couple TFI basic catalysts and uh, now I have given myself some time, rebuilt my stash, I have a couple already in overflow TFI basics and a whole bunch of tier to alphas so now i can pretty much kind of like freely have a guilty pleasure rank up again because unfortunately i have failed to acquire new uh rank three options i guess like as i am still sitting on a mutant and uh, skill class catalyst which i'm not quite confident in how i want to use yet uh, but in the meanwhile there has been a champion that definitely has piqued my interest and a champion that uh it's very interesting now, and it's obviously Hulkbuster. Now, tech class, I have obviously a lot of champions that are in a line to be ranked up. I have duped Ghost, which inevitably will end up going to rank 3 at some point, not just quite yet, because Warlock is the first tech champion I'm going to take to rank 3, because he's C200 and he has monstrous prestige. So Ghost is going to be my second tech rank 3 champion. But meanwhile, and whilst we are waiting to form these tech tier 5 class catalysts, I'm going to rank up somebody that I might not have immediate plans to take to rank 3, but at the same time, a champion that I think is uh, fun, I think is good, that I want to play with, uh, how useful he will be, well, hopefully he's very useful, but at the same time, once I have done his rank up now, obviously I can bring him in and test him quite a bit in a variant 3, which is tech variant or XL variant or wherever and smack six and hopefully make some cool videos with him perhaps bring him to alliance quest in some days but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and hit that rank up button right here right now because why not uh we are taking up our holly buster to rank two no tank backs anymore so let's just flood him with iso then we can try a fight in labyrinth of legends now i know it might not go uh, my way, because uh, I haven't had enough practice with Hongbuster, he's one of those champions that definitely does require you to know exactly what you want to be doing, and is maybe not as easy to play perfectly, but still we can see what we can do, and uh, then depending how that goes, we're gonna maybe bring him in somewhere else. Mostly things about Hongbuster is that uh, he's also quite an annoying defender now, uh, because of the shocks that he places on opponents, that is something to be recognized. Additionally, I absolutely love the fact that they fixed his armor up buff interactions with Suicide Masteries, and I think that is a huge plus to the champion, because effectively, now he actually heals with Suicide Masteries active, and that obviously benefits him a lot, because you can run him with or without Suicide Masteries, in vast majority of scenarios and uh, I always love those champions where you do not have, have like an exclusively uh, one mastery setup or another so let's jump in that labyrinth now hopefully we are back after some relatively uh, unnoticeable editing I did have some technical issues and my recording had stopped so I kind of have to redo this part of the video but it's all fine so let's jump in that Labyrinth of Legends and see how Hulkbuster fares against Red Hulk and then Old Man Logan as well because obviously Red Hulk has quite a lot of damage mitigation and those numbers aren't quite truthful to how it would be in an average fight. Now I do have to keep in mind that these guys have Limber active and that obviously makes playing Red Hulk, sorry, <laughs> makes playing Hulkbuster slightly more complex but we can still execute our main rotation which is all that really matters here there we go plenty of shock demos let's go for a same rotation again and again Shoot that level one, that's perfectly fine. Drop some decent damage. Obviously, again, he Red Hulk has quite a lot of damage mitigation, but still, we are managing to 
chip him down quite successfully, I'd say. So far, this fight has been going relatively smooth. I'm just gonna casually here drop this. Now that is, I hate when that happens. That was a bit cheeky, <laughs> just because I was annoyed that I didn't quite get the heavy timing right after that level 2. But it's okay. So, we were a bit slow for... Again, I don't know. Oh, this is sometimes a bit annoying. And he chipped away from this heavy attack just in... There we go, finally connected this one, man. Sometimes when things don't happen the way they're supposed to happen, or at the very least how they happen in your head, it is very frustrating to play this game. Okay, hopefully this... Again, why am I not quick enough on that heavy attack? And how did he await this heavy attack? The first one I understand if he could have intercepted me. That's fine. Second one, I do not quite understand how he could move out of the space here. Another thing definitely worth talking about is Hulkbuster's suicide compatibility. And we can see that I have thrown how many special attacks in my health bar is still quite, well, healthy, despite having suicide masteries active. Okay, let's go. Get this one right. We got this one right. Let's get this one right now as well, whilst I have five shocks. Perfect. Six shocks. Six shocks. Okay, that was a hefty damage chunk there. If Red Hulk wouldn't have all of that damage mitigation, man, that would have been so much damage. Okay, so small kerfuffle here. Nothing too big. Hopefully we can go into our next level two. And I was not quick enough, so that is where the practice comes in with Hulkbuster for sure. As long as I can maintain being aggressive, it's all good. Mm. <laughs> you see that 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 is the bit when it becomes less fun. But nonetheless, we have this guy down quite significantly. He's at last 9%. At this point also Assassin's Master would be active. Which I finally... Again, how do they know to do that? And how can they do that without dexterity? Okay, let's go for final blitz here. Yeah. Okay, that should be a nice solid heavy attack finish. Why not? Right? 311 hits. Definitely not a perfect fight by any stretch of imagination. But we got him down. And obviously we also tested the fact that... Uh, Alguster is quite chunky, lad, yeah? <laughs> he can take a punch. And he can take Suicide Masteries extremely well. 
also. So hopefully, obviously, this fight should be a lot quicker. Class advantage. No damage mitigation. Quite quick, solid animations. So let's let's see how this works out. Okay, let's just start here, why not? 20 crit on heavy attack, 26k crit, 28k crit. Let's just go for level 2 again. Let's repeat some nice damage. Absolutely wonderful. Let's go. This one was on me. I should have seen the distance increase, but still, we're through safe. Let's notice that we're not really losing any health from suicide. It's enough to me to get recall, which I think is could be one of the bigger takeaways from these fights as well. But you can run Hulkbuster and longer pieces of content using suicide masteries, and he can handle them perfectly fine these days. Especially if you're running Sasquatch Synergy. Nice amount of damage. Absolutely nothing to scoff about. Let's drain all of his power. Going to block you on income poop. Perfect. Whilst well, they still had some shocks active. Now that was not perfect. That was cheeky. But it's quite all right. Let's go for the last 7% then. There we go. Nice finish. And this was much better, much faster. 180 hits to take down Realm of, sorry, Labyrinth of Legends opponent. Uh, not too bad for an old piece of junk that was mean here for so long. So yeah, definitely look forward to practicing him more, getting better with him and uh, making some cool videos with him. But uh, that will do for today's video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you did, hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit all the buttons, and I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya.